So a lot of the people I run into have questions about how to set up USB audio, say a Blue Yeti and like a, you know, a HyperX headset or whatever, and they don't have an interface. So what I mean by that, normally, if you're going to set up the stuff the way I set it up, you're going to use ASL Link Pro. Inside of ASL Link Pro, when you first use it, it would prompt you for which driver you want to use, and then you pick your interface driver. But obviously, if you have USB stuff, it's not really going to work out because you don't have an ASIO driver like that. So what you would download, and both these links are going to be in the description. First, uh, go to my Google Drive here and download the ASL Link Pro as well as this patcher. When you run this patch, you're going to do both 32 and 64 bit. The reason they're here is on the official website, they're outdated. Second, go to ASO for all right here, which, like I said, description, click English. Unless, you know, you're a different language, but yeah, so I'm totally doing this for the first time, like right now. All right. So now we've got that installed. The thing to do now is go ahead and restart your DAW. So we've reset our DAW. The general rule of thumb here, and this this is going to be the same for any DAW, is your device inside of your DAW. For example, Ableton here, you're going to make sure that the driver is ASIO. You're going to select ASL Link Pro. When you do that, it's going to open ASL Link Pro up, but it's going to open up this white window. And now that we have ASO for all, we can click ASO for all. All right, so here's the setup I got going here. The first thing that I did was I, I went and clicked this little advanced options window and I've isolated the device that I'm going to be using. So in this case, say you have a HyperX Quadcast, for example, and a Corsair headset, you're going to find, see how my interface says Audio Evo 4 right here? You're going to click this little drop down window after you click your you know, settings. This could be your headset, for example, okay? Because there are going to be two different devices. You're going to have your headset here and your microphone somewhere else, okay? In my case, obviously, I'm, I have all my shit plugged into an interface, so, you know, I'm I'm only selecting that, but we're going to select just those two devices. If you're going to click the headphones up top here, you know, wherever the headphones are, you're only going to select the output. The, the, like I said, the only reason that I have the input selected here is because my microphone's plugged into my interface too. In the case that I had a USB microphone, and then we're going to find whatever device that our microphone is. So say it's this right here. Say this is a HyperX Quadcast, where we're going to go and grab this, and we would only select the one that's an input. And you can tell it's an input because it has a little microphone next to it. And uh, you can tell their outputs because they have little speakers next to them. I'm getting the same exact latency that I would have had by just using my drive thing on its own. And right now we're not technically using the ASIO driver of the interface. We're using a fake, which is going to allow you to do this with any USB device. So get super low latency monitoring and live performance and all that you know like i'm, I'm monitoring myself from my headphones right now there's no latency so that's pretty solid definitely do this if you have usb stuff and you want to use a daw the setup is the exact same for any daw you just select your aso link pro in here and then you select aso for all inside there and you're good to go go ahead and join my discord if you need help with this stuff and uh yeah thanks for watching